Hi, my name is Sarah Beth Minton. I'm the director for the White Pine Public Library in White Pine, Tennessee. And this is our fourth and final video on uh, how to get a job using Google skills and uh, Google Jobs and Google Docs and Gmail. And now you have done all those things and all of your hard work is paying off and you've got an interview. And I'm so proud of you for getting that interview because that's what we've been working for this whole time. You finally have a chance to be face to face with someone who has the potential to hire you and it's your time to shine. It's your time to let them see your personality and really win them over. And it's nerve wracking. Interviewing is hard. And you may be asking yourself, why is this woman qualified to tell me about interviews? And I will, I will tell you, it's because I have failed at so many interviews. I have bombed them, I have choked up, it has been ugly, but I have learned from my failed interviews what not to do in an interview. And now I'm gainfully employed. So we're just gonna cover some really basic things about interviewing and what to do, what not to do. The first thing that you're gonna wanna consider is what you look like when you go to your interview. It doesn't matter if you're interviewing for a CEO position. It doesn't matter if you're interviewing to be a busboy. It is always gonna be the same. What you wear is going to reflect on you. You're gonna to wanna to dress professionally. No flip flops, no jeans, no shorts, no t-shirts. You're gonna dress business casual because you're making a first impression and you only get one chance to make a first impression. It's important. It doesn't matter what kind of a job it is. You're always going to look nice. The second thing you're going to want to consider is um, you need to do research about the company that you are interviewing for. You want to go in there prepared. You want to have all the tools in your toolkit. So go to their Wikipedia page. Go to their uh, actual website read everything that you can online about the company that you're interviewing for. You also wanna know what previous employees are saying about that company. So there's a website called glassdoor.com and it is specifically for that purpose, for employees to rate their employers. You're gonna to wanna to look for themes in the reviews. Every company is going to have a disgruntled employee there's no such thing as a company where everyone is going to have glowing reviews. But you're going to want to look for threads that may show, shine some light on underlying problems that that company has. If uh, there are 15 people that say that they were harassed by a certain manager, maybe something to think about. So yeah, just beef up on knowledge. Try to learn everything you can about that industry, about that company, about the salary that you can expect, things like that. It's good to be prepared. So now we're going to talk about some common interview questions, what you don't want to say and what you do want to say. The first one and the worst one is, what are your biggest weaknesses? Everyone hates this question, and the worst way to answer it is to try to take one of your strengths and flip it into a weakness. So don't tell your, the person interviewing you that your biggest weakness is that you work too hard or that you care too much about your job. That's, everyone can see through that. Don't do that. What you want to do is actually be introspective. Think about your weaknesses. And in addition to that, tell your interviewer what you're doing to work on that. Show them that you're teachable. Show them that you are not afraid to grow. Show them that you are self-aware. For me, one of my many weaknesses, I have lots, but one of them is that I tend to cry when people criticize me. It is a biological reaction, it happens like clockwork, I can guarantee it. It doesn't matter if my feelings are hurt or not, for some reason, I just start crying. I understand in my brain that that is not a reasonable response, 
and I try to <laughs> I try to work through it in my head so I can learn from that experience, take criticism and use it to better myself. I want to show the interviewer that I am a fallible person. I am not scared to try to improve myself. And that's what you want to tell your employer or your interviewer that you can, you are capable of understanding that there are problems with you and that you can try to change them. So I don't know if there's a really great, like this is my weakness and this is what I'm doing to fix it example. That's just the one that I have because I do cry when people criticize me. The next question is, what are your biggest strengths? And this is great because this is your time to shine. This is brag about yourself. You got an interview and you're capable and you are smart and you can get this job. So tell them everything you're good at. Don't be shy. If you're able to tell them about your weaknesses, you are certainly able to tell them about your strengths. So definitely, definitely go for it. Where do you see yourself in five years? A common answer to this question, and it is not a good one, is, oh, in five years, I see myself taking your job. Nobody wants to hear that. That's terrible. Don't say that. What you want to do is think about the industry that you are trying to enter into and think about the avenues that are available for you to advance. Because in, in some careers, promotion is not an option. So you have to think about other ways that you can succeed. Maybe you want to set a goal for <clears throat> increasing sales or increasing customer satisfaction, or there are so many ways that you can excel at a job that don't just include getting promoted and being at the top. So there's no, there's no one right answer for every job. So you really have to think about it before you're going in. Another question, tell me about the last time you encountered conflict at work and how you handled it. What your interviewer is looking for here is that you can think quickly on your feet, that you have conflict resolution skills, and that you are able to take a situation that may be uncomfortable and just move past it. So whatever your situation might be that's coming to mind, you want to <clears throat> show that you are calm in a crisis, that you can handle when a customer or a coworker is uh, being difficult, and you can formulate a solution, and then you can move past it. So just tailor that to whatever your life experience is. And you know, there is gonna be conflict at work. There's no such thing as a job that doesn't have conflict. So to come in armed with an answer to that question will behoove you. For sure. And oh, the, the last question that is very common. Why do you want to leave your current job? Now, obviously, if you're unemployed, you don't have a current job. So questions a moot point. If you are employed and you are looking for a new job, then obviously you don't like the job you're at now. Don't tell your interviewer that. You never, ever, ever want to badmouth your employer. You never want to critic. You don't want to say it's because my boss is a jerk. You can't. You shouldn't say it's because my coworkers are dramatic and they start problems. You don't. Don't talk. Don't say bad things about your coworkers or your employers. You never want to do that in any situation. Um, a, an example of a good response would be, <clears throat> I have set personal goals for myself uh, that I do not feel that I can reach in my current career. So I am looking for a place where I can grow as a person, I can grow professionally, and that I can have a career that is a long-term option for me. And I feel like he, this would be a great situation for me and that I would be a great fit for this company and it can uh, 
it can be those things that I'm looking for that I currently am not able to achieve where I am. At the end of the interview, they will typically ask you if you have any questions for them. And of course you have questions for them. You should always have questions for them because not only are they interviewing you, you're interviewing them. You need to see if this is a good fit for you. It's not just you sitting there trying to say all the right things so that they want you and they hire you. That's, that's only half of it. The other half is that you want to know if this company is worth your time because there are lots of jobs out there and you really, it's, life is too short to have a job you hate. So ask questions of your interviewer. Some of my favorite questions. What do you expect me to accomplish in the first 90 days? That's a good question because it could be something that you don't feel like you want to do or you could accomplish. So make sure that what is being asked of you is in line with what you want for yourself. Another question you can ask, what are three traits that your top performers have in common? And then match their answer to, to yourself. Is that something that I am? Is that something that I'm capable of becoming? And I think that this is the best question to ask your interviewer. Why did the last person in this role I'm applying for decide to leave? It could be because the job is awful. It could be because they got promoted, which would be great because then if you get this job, there's a chance you could get promoted. That would be wonderful. It's just important to know why someone would want to leave the job that you want. So at the end of the interview, you always want to stand up, shake the person's hand, say thank you for your time, and then hope that they call you. And that's really all you can do. Now, your interview is over. You get a call that says, I'm sorry, we've decided to go with a different candidate. Don't get discouraged. Please don't. For every hundred interviews you go to, you may get a job offer two or three times. It's, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up. Don't get discouraged because it's just part of it. It's, it's like dating. Not everyone is Mr. Right. Not every job is meant for you. Hopefully, the right one will come along and you will be happily employed. Thank you guys so much for joining me with these videos. It has been so much fun. And if you have any questions, feel free to call us or email us. Thanks.